take a careful look at my Android screen because you're going to see it change in a moment or because this is a part of a video on Android Photo Director Animations. I will show you the end result. So in other words I just showed you this screen. Notice it's not moving. Notice with Photo Director Animations you are not going mad. It is moving around. Bit freaky isn't it? Quite interesting. So let's explore it more. Here's another one. This time it is moving in and out. Oh my god my phone is melting. So let's look at um, what we've done so far and that is Photo Director is a photo app by Cyberlink. I'm using Android 7 and it says what's new? Happy New Year Photo Directors with the new year comes a brand new update. Photo animation, animate your photos, bring them to life. Fresh new feature gives you the tools to bring flowing and dramatic motion to your stills. Check out photo whatever whatever later on in the year. So what we've got is let's have a look at a simplistic one. Here is a simple circle with a star moving around. I'll show you how to achieve that in a moment. I think we just had a look at that one. Um, this one is a demo slide from Photo Director. I've made the aurora, the stars there, move around a bit. This one is a photo I took of a tea shop. It was a photo. I've made it move and there's bits of it that I have made stand still. This one's very subtle. It is the sun moving in the sky a little bit where the fields do not move. This one is not so great because the trees move as well. That was an early edit from me. This one, you are not hallucinating. This is the trees and the pond moving a bit around with the middle that isn't. These are all demonstrations that I was having a little go at. This one is an active rainbow but the clouds are moving around. And this one here is a video. It saves them as GIFs or videos. And the video here, similar thing where I've just made this sky rotate. I think that's probably it for the demos, isn't it? Yes, it is. So, oh, no, no, that one's a nice one. Is that the one I just showed you? Yes, it is. Doesn't matter. So going on to the actual thing itself, you open up the app, which is Photo Director on Android. Can't remember how much I paid for this, but it wasn't a lot of money. And I think for an animation feature like this, it is totally worth the um, job in investing in. So as we open it up, you'll notice, which is interesting, because the top banner there with the tree in the sky is not the one um, which I'm about to show you. doesn't matter. It's a surfboard thing. So what we can get to is if you open up, I think, the download. And this is where I'm being thorough. And that is, when I say thorough, I've used Google Drive. Um, slides or, or drawings to make this image there and to be thorough to get creative on it I think you what you really need to do is hit animation then explore this is how the app portion works first thing bottom left is you look at your path so for an example if I simply put that through there which is a bottom you know left to right arrow when I hit play it starts to move like that. Now what I found through the app which is really useful is if you hit the snowflake thing which is actually um, it shows you the path in grey. The moment you hit it you get a true representation of what happens at the very end. So for an example what you can do is you can go in and so we've done a path there let's do another path sort of that way and another path down that way. This time I'm going to do an anchor point meaning to anchor around this little bottom um, segment at the number six on the clock then I'm going to hit totally do not make these areas um, they stay still in other words so what you see is if you did this and you painted in something to stay still then when you play it what you'll find is that some bits are moving and some bits are not the anchor points at the bottom which is down here oh sorry the red part here I've actually said do not um, move because that like you know what an anchor is it's kind of like rotates around it sort of thing so to take away those and I'll show you what I mean and you can put bits that move and bits that don't move so then I'm going to hit play you'll see it starts to get a little bit freaky then what you can do is you can the other feature of course is you can 
slow this right down you can say it's going very slow or you can go very very fast 75 is the default and then when you're happy with that I won't you know do it as an example um, but you get and this is where it gets slightly limited on video you get 16 9 1 1 4 3 9 uh, 16 so in other words I could do a portrait I could move these around and then I'd export them as 1080p 2k or 720 which is fine but um, just bear in mind that you need to crop your image before you start. So for an example, if I wanted to get an end item with the 16 by 9 landscape, then you can see that my, my crop has come in too, too small. In other words, I'm missing off the, the bottom and the top. If I was going to do GIF, similarly, it's an infinite GIF, very small um, file sizes, 16, 9, 1, 1, 4, 3, and 9, 16s. If I come back off of that one and hit the top center you get some sample images and this is the one which you will see in the um, official YouTube thing and that is the photo director um, have done an official help tutorial so what I was yeah that's opening up so with this one you can see that the guys there on his surfboard very very clearly and then when it opens I'm just waiting for the um, CPU to start up we can say now what I suggest we can do, just as an example, is I'm going to say I want to anchor around this guy. And look, I could spend a lot more time doing this, you know, very precisely, but I haven't at this precise moment. I'm going to say in the normal way I want the thing to come around here with the waves. And then I want to, for me, I'm going to say that's it. Hit play. And you can see it starts to move. Actually, it's not bad, is it? God, that took no time at all. And if there's certain areas that you actually wanted to not moves let's just play it again say say there was an area here where you just wanted that piece there just to you know not move then you could hit that and then if i hit play you'll see it's looks a bit un unusual there doesn't it it's not quite right does not matter we'll go back and then the last bit to show you again to be um quite diligent with it is diligent the right word yeah, I think it probably is, isn't it? And that is that I could start to get quite interesting with it. And I've got three uh, grids that I've actually made again in Google Slides. And what I've done this time is to go into animation. And I really want to, to test myself so I understand how this tool works. So for an example, if I wanted to say go down, up, across and down again like that. And I wanted to do an anchor point in the middle like that. And then hit play. You don't have to use all the features, but because this is gridded up, you can clearly see which bits of the grid are moving and which bits are static. So if I hit pause and then went on to, um, let's get an area that, that doesn't actually move at all. Let's just say we wanted that line there. Probably wouldn't in real life, would we? But let's say that is not allowed to move. It's got to stay stationary. The moment you hit it, you can see that you can dial in and dial out exactly how you wish it to work or you can come around and delete the whole lot like this so let's say you deleted everything and this time you just literally wanted to go in and the only way I can see to actually get rid of this is to either start again or okay so then we go through there and you say this time I want it to be freaky out from the center and, and that's it and then I can go in and say okay what does that look like and you can actually you know test it around I think that's probably all we need to do right now and then go back to our main screen saying this was a photo director and let's end with a freaky one shall we and here is my phone oh my god it's starting to melt